Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm VA Winter. I'm an indie author, currently with One Short Story Published, which you can find in the description down below. It's called A Touch of Glamour. So I haven't posted again in a few months. I feel like this is becoming a pattern. Life has been interesting, but we're having a fresh start. We're having a fresh start in 2023. As of filming this, it is two days before the new year and I am determined that 2023 is going to be a better year. So today's video is, as you can tell from the title, a sort of mini wrap up of 2022. Not that there's a lot to wrap up and a look ahead to 2023, sort of thinking about what I want to achieve in 2023, my goals, if you want to call them that, and what's going to happen on this channel next year. I suppose thinking about 2022, as I said, it's been a few months since I posted a video and that has been because I've been in the process of trying to figure out really on a probably too granular level, what my plans are, what I want to do, how I want to go forward. As I said, when I created my sort of authortube newbie tag 2.0 video, I decided that I want to be an indie author. I, obviously I've indie published my short story, which I published a couple of weeks ago now. And I, did, I didn't really market it. I didn't really promote it. I just sort of published it just quietly so that I've got something published just to sort of dip my toe in the water. I think that's kind of the thing I'm probably almost, it's, it's a tie. With, with something else that I'm most proud of from 2022. I did set some goals for the end of the year and I didn't achieve them because I've, I feel like I've had to figure out what the best way is of working around my part-time job, around life, what I'm really working towards, what my long-term vision is, what I want my life to look like, what's the point of all this, is this the right path, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, so I graduated my MA. I achieved the grade I wanted to achieve, which is really a huge win for someone who for years didn't think they would even go to university at all. I now have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. That was a big win. And as I say, deciding to be an indie author, deciding that that's going to be my path and publishing that first short story. I've published it wide. So it is available on Amazon, Kobo, Apple, Scribd. It is available most places you can buy books. Yeah. And I think the other sort of thing, just to mention, because it's been a dream for years since pre-pandemic, wanted to go to Edinburgh. Um, I live in England, sort of middle of England. Um, not a fan of living in the middle of England, I will just point out. I would very much like to leave England. I think I like the idea of Scotland a lot better than I like the idea of England. And I finally went this year for my birthday, slash the it finishing my degree. And it coincided with the Queen dying. So we actually saw, a bit morbid, morbid moment, and um, we saw the Queen's funeral procession come through Edinburgh because it was just that weekend obviously it hadn't been planned because we planned that weeks and weeks before the Queen even died but we did actually glimpse it so I do have a tiny photographic glimpse of the Queen's coffin which was a bit weird and surreal really. So yes that was my 2022. I don't feel like I achieved a lot even though I think the things that I did achieve were quite big things mostly finishing my degree, keeping my job, yay. My word of the year for 2022 was foundation. I wanted to set the foundation for everything going forward. And I feel like I've kind of done that. It's taken me until today, which is the 30th of December to do that, I think. And I'm not quite finished, I don't think. But I think I'm there. I think I know what I'm doing and where I want to go and how I want to get there. So moving on to 2023, I have decided to do something called Project Freedom. Now, this is kind of taken inspiration from... A, a tiny bit of inspiration, not a lot, because it is it is different, from Six Months for Life by Sarah Cannon. And that's not an official programme or official anything. It's just a personal project she's been doing over the last year or so to sort of focus on the way she wanted to change her life. I'll leave her channel linked below, um, maybe one of the live chats where she was talking about it, just in case anybody's interested. But my idea is it's a year long project. It's a year of putting into place and putting into practice all of the things that I've learned and all of the things that I've decided this year. So it's centred around my journey to freedom. Because my dream, my goal, my big goal is freedom. The one thing that I value the most is freedom. The freedom to do what I want with my life, with my time. And that kind of centres around three main areas for me, which is time, as I said, um, movement, the freedom to go where I want, when I want, the freedom to travel, and freedom with money. It is also a commitment to taking small steps every day because this is something else I struggled with this year is feeling like days were going by and especially on days when I've worked long shifts, um, weeks when I've had a lot of long shifts at work and feeling like I'm not making any progress towards my goals. So I want to document the things that I'm doing each day, even if that's just one post on Instagram, even if that's all it is, even if it's just a hundred words written in a novel or a short story or 10 minutes editing or whatever it is, I want to know that I've achieved at least one thing each day towards one of those pillars 
one of those goals. And it's also a commitment to consistency because this is something else that I have really struggled with. And I think those two commitments sort of go together, taking steps every day towards those goals, but also being consistent. So consistent on YouTube, because we can clearly see I haven't been. Consistent in my writing, which is something I've struggled with a lot. Consistency in Instagram, consistency in all of it. Consistency in sticking to what I've said I'm going to do. That's kind of the main principles guiding this idea of Project Freedom. So this is going to run from 1st of January to 31st of December. And this is just something I'm doing. Within Project Freedom, there are six sort of main projects that I'm going to be working on over the course of the year. The first of those, and the most important to this channel, I guess, is weekly vlogs. And I've said before, I'm not very good at vlogging. I've struggled with it in the past. I've tried it. I've uploaded vlogs. I've taken them down again because of various reasons. I don't like the way I look in them. I think they're boring. I don't think they're edited well. I think I'm just rambling or ranting or whining in them. They're too long, most of them. So I'm going to try and do just short weekly vlogs, 10, 15 minutes, just documenting that whatever I've done throughout the week towards my goals. And there will be other videos thrown in, like recommended reading videos and whatever else I decide to do. Um, I've got some sort of ideas for video essays. I'm still planning on doing this video about why I've chosen self-publishing over, or indie publishing, I suppose, I prefer over traditional publishing. The vlogs are going to be documenting writing, reading, and whatever else I feel like chucking in there. That's the first thing. That's the first main project is YouTube, is at least getting one video up every week, probably a vlog, but it might be something else depending on life and what happens. So at least 52 videos this year. This is the first one. Happy New Year. The second big one and, the, and probably actually the most important one. So I probably should have said that one first. I'm going to publish my first novel. I'm working on it. I'm partway through the draft. I started it in NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo went horribly wrong. I'm going to finish that. I'm going to get it edited. I'm going to get a cover for it all the steps and that is all going to be documented in the vlogs along with the research that I'm doing for it because I've still got some research to do around it but I want to publish that novel and I'm planning on writing the other two books in that trilogy as well this year but they won't be published this year and also about eight short stories I've kind of roughly mapped out what I think I can do time-wise in the year but it all depends on what happens with work but that's kind of my plan is to publish a short story roughly once every month to two months so that I've the idea is then that by the end of the year, because I've already published one, I've got a collection that I can then put together and publish in 2024 as a collection. The other goals are kind of more personal, but they're kind of part of Project Freedom because those two goals are about what I want to be doing with my time. So then moving on to finances, which again, financial freedom. This is what I want to be. It's financially free because the more financially free you are, the more free you are to do other things. So I'm going on a no buy year this year. Me and spending money does not have a good relationship. I spend far too much on Ill impulse. I just need to stop. I have a list of rules, which I'm not going to share, I don't think. The basic gist of it is I'm not allowed to buy things. Obviously, I'm still going to buy food and pay my bills, but I'm not allowed to take on any new bills, no new subscriptions to things. And I'm not allowed to spend outside of my weekly budget because this has been a big problem. It's overspending, spending more money than I'm actually earning, spending it as fast as I'm earning it. I can buy books I can buy anything that I want but it has to be within that weekly budget and my weekly budget is not big the other half of that is I have some debt I need to pay off um, I've been trying to pay it off this year but as mentioned I'm spending money as fast as I'm making it so I'm sort of no better off than I was this time last year which is really annoying and that is the thing that's sort of driving me towards doing this is thinking I need to just be in a better position because the less outgoings I have the less money I owe to other people the less committed spending I have the easier it's going to be to quit my job see how this all links together. I'm not going to share actual numbers because I'm not comfortable doing that. But basically, I want to pay off at least 50% of my debt this year. And it's not huge. It's not a huge number. It's not hundreds of thousands of pounds like some people I've seen online have. So I'm going to be sort of doing probably monthly updates on that process, on how the no buy is going, on how my debt payment is going. And I'll just set, share percentages. So I, what I'm starting out with on January 1st is 100%. And then I'll share how much of a percentage I've managed to get that down by each month, each quarter. I'm not sure exactly. Same as I'm not sure whether that's going to be in the weekly vlogs or it's, it's going to be a separate video. So they're my two financial goals. No buy a year, pay off debt. They're kind of linked. And the third one is kind of linked as well. And that is clearing a lot of my clutter. I've got a lot of notebooks and I've got a lot of stationery. And obviously I've got a lot of books, but we don't, kind of don't count those at this point. I've got a lot of clothes that I'm probably not going to wear. I've got a lot of all sorts of just odd things that I've collected over the years that I just kind of want to get rid of because again that ties into that long-term goal of I want to be able to move easily long-term vision wise I want to quit my job I want to be in a position where I've got no debt 
And I also want to be in a position whereby I can put my life into a couple of three suitcases, maybe a box or two of books, and move. And just go and live in a different city for a while. And sort of figure out where I want to settle permanently. Because it's not here where I'm currently living for many reasons. Maybe one day, just pick up and go and live abroad for a while. The point is, I want to be in a position where I don't have that much stuff physical stuff that I can't do that. I want that to be easy. So this is going to be a long, slow process. The books are the last problem. But I want to be in a position whereby when I'm ready to move, when I'm ready to pick my life up and go, all I've got to get rid of is just basically the furniture and like kitchen stuff, stuff that you need when you're living in a place. And then I can just pick up and go and move and buy whatever I need there for that place. And there'd be a bit more minimalist. So that's it. So that's kind of my 2023 goals is Project Freedom. And that may, will probably last beyond this year. This is the beginning. For now, this is 2023 Project Freedom. This is me moving towards freedom and remembering that goal in everything that I do. That is 2022 done. This is 2023 beginning. If you liked this video, if it's inspired you in any way, hit like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.